How's that for an entrance? That's me! In today's episode, we'll discuss absolute value. The two lines on either side of a number indicate that it is the absolute value of that number. You can think of the absolute value as the distance from zero. In this case, six is six units away from zero, therefore the absolute value of six is six. Negative six is also six units away from zero, Therefore, the absolute value of negative 6 is also 6. You can pause the video and try these on your own. Let's look at the answers. How did you do? What about equations with absolute values? In this case, we need to take the absolute value of an operation. So, we take 3 plus negative 4 and we get negative 1. And then the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. In this case, we have the absolute value of individual numbers that we add together. So, we take the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3, and we add it to the absolute value of 2, which is 2, and that equals 5. What about multiplication? Hey, Carl! Oh, hey, you jackson! If we have a number right outside the absolute value of another number, that implies multiplication. In this case, 5 times the absolute value of negative 2. First, we take the absolute value of negative 2. Then, we're left with 5 times 2, which is 10. In this case, we first have to solve what is in the absolute value. So, we take negative 10 plus 6, and we get negative 4. So, we multiply 2 times the absolute value of negative 4. So, that is 2 times 4, which equals 8. Thanks again for watching and... Carl! That's me! We just had this painted. Now I gotta clean it all off.